Hello YouTube, so today I'll be showing you guys how to make different shapes using for loops in turn. So basically the most important concept in this is knowing how a for loop works, knowing the start point, and knowing the changes in the axes. So right now I'll demonstrate this in actually uh, AutoCAD. So you first start off with the main point inside a triangle, so let's say uh, we want main point to be here, and then we want it to go downwards like this and we want it to go like this so essentially the most important concept in understanding how to make a triangle like this is that you first have to go down from the center point and then the x increases to go this way so essentially the line and the for loop will go like this and continue moving diagonally like this and so on and so forth until the triangle is constructed. Similarly, if you want to make it in the opposite direction, so you can delete this, um, you will basically go from here, so center point downwards, so I will decrease. The x will decrease in the opposite direction and come back here. Now, what's also important to understand is that you could start here and go here, and then increase x this way. Or you can start here and go here and decrease x. Similarly, you can make your center point this angle and increase it y-wise. So there's a lot of different methods by which you could do this. Uh, similarly, we can make different types of triangles. We can make a triangle like this. And the way by which this triangle will function is you can have the starting point here move it here and then increase x by a significant margin so this will make the for loop reiterate significantly more so going back into turn uh, we will first start off by making a loop 50 and here's when the code comes so this is the basic for loop structure you guys should already understand that and here we have draw line and then here you would pick your center point so if we want to make for example we want to make this triangle Let's pick the center point as 0x, 100y. And then, as you see here, it's starting from uh, the left side, and we're going to move the x all the way over. So we're actually going to put i here, and then y will be 0, and then color preference. And as you see, there's a triangle. If we want to make it wider, you would increase for the iteration and it would move more x, y. If you want to change the height, you would change this, and it would become taller. Now similarly, if we want to change it into the other direction, let's change x to 100, 150, i, and 0. And as you see, this has to match this if you want to flip around the triangle. So what's this 150 and 150? So that once it goes from here, to here, this is 150, and the position of x at this point is also 150. This will make a right angle triangle. Now, for equilateral, if we make this 300, not exactly equilateral, but you get the idea, you will have a shape similar to this. Now, let's put this back to 150, and let's experiment a little bit with making this triangle slightly slanted. So essentially, what you have to understand in slanted triangles is the change of slope within the triangles. So if you have a triangle, say for example like this, and then it goes something like this, you'll have to look specifically at the slope within this shape. All right. You will notice that the, that the color, that the, that the rise over run in this shape will be different from a normal one in which only one axis changes here you will have two axes changing so let's say for example we have this triangle let's try to modify it if we put i here what happens it makes a single one what if we do 0 plus i still one okay <laughs> alright um, let's keep it at 0 and now let's do 
Let's just start over. Draw a line. Center point 300, 300. And now let's go 300 plus i. And now let's do 200 minus i minus i divided by. Alright, now if you observe this triangle, the way this triangle works essentially is you're taking increasing this normally 300 plus i but at the same time you're taking half of the run and putting it into the rise because you're doing divided by 5 so one <laughs> um, you're dividing it by 5 so not half by 5 so going back to the concept here essentially what we did was we noticed that the run is significantly more than the rise All right. Since the run is significantly more than the rise, in order to make it output correctly, we will use the divide function to only make it go down every single five iterations. So once five iterations pass, you can continue going down one, while this one will go horizontally each one. Now hopefully that makes sense. You can make it less, but you need to three, two, ten. Okay, so the higher the number, the more flat it will be. If you change it to 1, it will look awful. So again, it's a similar concept, except here it's abstracting i. So it's going down, so make it less steep, etc. So that's essentially how this is made. You can also change this point here by changing it where it's going initially, so let's say 250. And here you have an even more irregular shape. Again, there's a little rendering issue here. This is typical of Turing. If it's really an issue, you can rewrite the line with the slight modification in the x-axis. So hopefully you guys understand now the way by which you do triangles. If you need any other tutorials on different shapes, you could just ask. So I'll just give another example for a triangle with the slope. So let's say um, the triangle will look like this. So we have a triangle like this, like this, and like this. Alright, how does this work? Center point would be here. You would go down, so the x would remain the same in the second point, so the second point would be this x. While, while the for loop variable is increasing here, because you need to go horizontally you will also need to go down by a small margin and now in terms of going down it will actually go down significantly less so again you will do something similar to like divide by five so for every five times it moves horizontally it will go one time downwards alright now hopefully you guys understand this tutorial and it helps you guys and uh, please inform me if you need any other assistance.